Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's keep going with um, with the game in Haskell. Um, so I added this new enemy, and I'm working on it. Uh, at the moment, it just is the same logic as the robot. And I wanted to shoot to the player. Let's play a little bit, change a little bit the map. So it's easy to test. Let me put it here. Maybe. And start here. So it's easy to test. Give me more space. See the shooting. All right. So, yeah, I have drawn very quickly where the blaster is going to shoot, hopefully. And simple effect I mean I can improve this later because I'm not completely sure it's probably too small that's why I'm struggling a little bit to actually look make it look nice mm. anyway we'll see um, I had that already in the sprite sheet I haven't tried the coordinates but it's probably that will be okay so we have blaster and an impact and this is the code of the shooter so I have no idea what, how I'm going to do this I mean, it's going to be it's going to be um, an entity, but it's never going to be in the map. So, do we need a new type of entity, or we can use the effect? Because it's not a type enemy, is it? It doesn't matter really if it's a type enemy. Because it probably doesn't make any difference. Does it? Because the one that, that checks the collision detection is the shoot. Um, okay, well, I guess it makes sense if it's an enemy. Because if it's an enemy, what we get, like any other enemy, is that when the player gets damaged, everything will stop. Does it make sense to stop the blaster me there if it was any, uh, an enemy? Probably it doesn't. So we could be using the type effect. Yeah, we can use that one. So we can use the type effect. And and that's it really. I mean we definitely need a okay, so let's do things in order. So going back to types, uh we need a new action. Action uh uh blaster. Blast, blast. Okay. Um, X and Y. And now this means we need to change things in in entities, right? Because it's a new action now. 
action add blast and process actions no uh, it's going to be like this uh, okay yeah like adding one entity is like this so it's going to be exactly this um And it's going to be X and Y. And the name is going to be. It's just a test. So this, um, what's going to do now is instead of doing adding the blast, it's going to do the effect of the impact. I think we can use this for testing. So. Shooter enemy. See, this is something that I don't quite like really because how do i do this differently at the moment all the entities have all these properties but now the shooter needs a cooldown counter so do we want to add a cooldown counter to all the entities i would say we probably don't want that I mean, including the player. Hmm. I mean, we already have that problem with some because um, no frame. All all have frame, right? But for example, not all have direction. So that's a problem. That's already something that is not great. So I guess. I mean, the type could have values. I mean, not the type, but... Mm. I mean, yeah, the, mm, okay, let's see how we do that. Um, let's try something. Entity data. Uh, the data is going to have an integer for the cooldown. Uh, using the time to do that. Uh, why? Okay. Mm -hmm. We can change it later, right? So, no, see, I don't like it. Entity data is shooter data or <laughs> something like this, right? And then the entities can have. Uh, I can't call it that data right now. I say input data. What? What's wrong with this? Oh, okay. Data, okay. Yeah, I can call it data. Um, um, maybe it's not data. How do we call this? Call it ED or oh, that. So entity data. Now is when it's going to be a pain.
becomes obvious. Okay, let's fix it. I don't know if this is how you do it. Any Haskell expert around? And I need to change the model. Yeah, it's not. I guess I could have thought about this before. That's why I'm doing it at the moment. So. Okay, it's pretty much done. Oopsie. No, this is not. Okay, so this is going to be a shooter. Uh, okay, I will we'll come back to this one. We'll fix them all. Okay, so this is a uh, shooter their data and it's going to be cool down, it's going to be zero. Um <clears throat> so we're going to have um the blaster cooldown. <clears throat> It's going to be, I don't know, 64. We don't want it to shoot too quickly. Okay. Uh, I guess we can give priority to This is going to be not good. <laughs> so, play collision is blocked, day shooter. We're going to need another one here. So, we have collision. Uh, that given an entity, we get a boolean. Alright, not bad. Now, play collision, we pass that here. That really doesn't come on. Presentation player versus entity. Uh, okay. We're going to do something similar. Well, not really, but. Hey! How are you doing? Capicande? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your nick. Okay, so. So let's go in line, for example. So the other height. All right. So it's going to be what it's going to be. Okay, we can do it just the way. So if if it's in the same line, oh, what happened? Huh. Yeah. Uh, question detection. Uh, question detection. Uh, all right. So. Is a player. Uh, <laughs> line with the entity now I don't know line column row what do we call this besides I'm not sure if this is um what we want because 
the, the two entities are the same height, right? No, this is fine for now. So So going back to these So we need to get another condition here which is a line we like this here so collision collision uh player in line yes yeah, so there it is okay so uh, in entities, uh, when we create this one now, so collision player prep and then is in line 24 again. Okay, so that is plug in place now. So Player in line, and now we can use it here. So, um, I guess we can do this. Need to change this now. I guess we can do I don't it is a little bit. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the way I'm, I'm writing it, but um so we got in line, which is a boolean. It's going to tell me if the player is in line with the entity. Um, so now I need a guard here, I think. Hmm. Don't know. Something like this. Touch it, touched. And then do this. Um, otherwise, do this. Can I do this? The only thing I don't like about Haskell too much is why they went with significant white space. It's, it's just annoying me. How do I do a guard here? Can I do a guard here? Actually, or oh, I probably can't. So, so I need to do a function. Okay. It's okay. And do I need to? Oh, I know this one so already. Good question. I don't know. No, no, I just find it hard to understand because it feels so different from other languages that I'm used to. Yeah, a little bit. 
I mean, it's all, uh, all is about getting used to it. Okay, so this is wrong. We're going to put it here. And, and the question is, do I need to do this? Can I do this? Hmm. Okay. We need some entity. And then return some entity. And we get the entity. And I can access that. <laughs> PSD and mats. I don't have a PSD in maths. Uh, so can we reuse this date here? Can we? I think we probably can. We can do this. And we don't need this otherwise, and we can do this, and we pass to Boolean. So basically, it's going to be. <laughs> What's something like this? And then update. So we don't need this. And we say touch and inline. And the entity is updated. So what's touch was in line then what's touch here and first we're going to check what's in line and we need to get the data which is and uh, data I don't know <laughs> what we're going to do okay no, don't do anything this is wrong fine okay let's do this for now and why is complaining about the inline ah oh, because I'm wondering can we do this differently We probably can. I mean, this doesn't need to be here. It can be. It can be just here. And if we do that, I guess. How we compose these? Maybe I'm I'm making things too complicated. Yeah, that's one of the things with, well, at least it helps me with when I'm doing Haskell. Basically, I wrote it so it works, and then I, I, read, I read the code and try to improve it. 
and very often it's kind of it's possible right so you just for the first time just getting something that works so uh, so if it was in line we could be adding it so so it's action uh, just add the blast and it's going to be uh, the entity x oh no it's not going to be like that it's not going to be like this because uh, because no what i'm looking at because this because okay so the Hmm. Okay, so it's going to be y plus eight. So the blast is in the right place. Actually, it's not going to look good because I mean, as it is right now, this is right here. It's going to look like here right it should be more like here and uh, no i mean it's not the end of the world but i guess we can move them down or perhaps yes it's okay I mean, I can, I can do this. So, both are in the same line. I need to find out how to properly work with, with the alpha layer in GIMP, because I don't know how to do it. And I'm always struggling to, to delete things. I need to find out how to do that because I think I waste a lot of time by Ooh. wait a minute so it really doesn't matter it was it was okay the way it was because it's going to spin so one of them is always going to be at the same at the right height So, so the height is correct, but now we need to find what is the width. Um, how do we do that? Because it depends where we face it, right? So it's going to be entity x plus. last beer okay so okay and we can here say where um okay last beer is going to be uh case entity direction of beer left then is so if we are looking left then we need to add whatever we add it has to be x minus the size so so minus c no okay no, wait, 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 wait. Let's call it blast X. So blast X, because we do the calculation here. So why is complaining about this? 
Ah, because I'm not using it and it's not comprehensive. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So let's call it Blast X. All right. So now it's used, but if this is not comprehensive, so we add right. And if it's right, it's going to be X plus 16 because it's going to be here. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I hate this thing when it happens. This. All right, so it was kind of here. Hmm? All right. Nothing happened. Cool. So yeah, it's going to be here. So it's basically whatever is the X position of the entity plus the width is always 16. Cool. So this is our magic numbers. Well, I don't care because this is for the shooter and the shooter is always going to be the same space size. I mean, we have my numbers all over the place so it's okay okay so this is going to add the, the blaster the blast but we need to extract shooter data right and can I do this as a record uh -huh. Can I release? Please? Yes, I can. So that means that if it was in line and and that <laughs> and that cooldown is zero then we add the action that will add the blast and also we said the uh, and that is going to be uh, and that well do we really need to do a copy no we can just say to the data and we pass blaster cool down cool down Is that okay? I know. Sorry, that. There you go. So if it's in line, then and the and the cooldown is zero, then we set the cooldown to whatever, and we keep going. Now, we need to. Okay, so we need to update the so we update the frame of the entity, and and this is going to be we also need to update the uh, the cooldown if it there is cooldown right right so if it that cooldown is bigger than zero then it that and then go down the box. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> um, how do I do it cleaner? Okay, shooter data um, e that cool. It's a little bit awful, I think. Else, and oh, not very readable, to be honest. 
So let's make a function here. Uh, they call down and we get what do we get? We get an entity and we return an entity. And we can do anything else. And that cool down is bigger than zero, then return identity shoot the data and that cool down minus one otherwise just return the entity and why the guards have different synthesis synthesis that the, that the case don't know otherwise okay so instead of doing do, 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 all this mambo jimbo here we can just do do they call down e And if I can type properly, should be like this. Okay, so that will move the cooldown down. Okay, let's try it. I mean, what can possibly go wrong? I mean, it's not going to. Okay, I'm not sure what it's going to do. Ah, because for testing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> kind of works. Okay, so things sixty four is too is too quick. That's one thing. Another thing is that. It's not only not only has to be in line and the cooldown has to be zero. Uh, it has to be facing the player. Right? So oh dear. It has to be in what's in line. Yeah, because this is the one that knows the player position, so... So... This is going to be and... And... Other direction is equals to the left and... Player X is less than... Other X. And it's going to be an OR. Or the other bit. This is going to be the other direction is right and the player X is bigger. And potentially, um, we can add some, you know, maybe we need to do some adjustment here. Hmm. So it shouldn't be shooting the player when 
it is so it's not shooting now when it turns around shoots 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 okay that's looking good so okay so now we need the blast itself that we said it was going to be an effect yeah it's okay it is an effect but it has to have its own class so let's call it blast and uh, I need to add that to Kaval, otherwise you won't see it. So... It's going to be effect, it's going to be blast. Um, and because it's going to be similar, so... It's going to be type effect, we said, because we don't want it to stop. Hey, Prince Face, how are you doing? Yeah, it's been a long time. Did we increase we less see each other here? What are you doing? I think the last time I was doing Haskell. Uh, yeah, I was doing Haskell the last time too. But I was doing something very boring, like doing some unit testing, something like that. Which is not exciting at all. I totally understand. Um, oh, last game was CPC. Yes, it was CPC. Yeah, I, I released that one. Okay, so this also needs to know the, the, the direction, right? So... So we know that it's going to be I don't know how I call it. Uh, blaster blast. I don't know how to say that. So it's it's going to be direction. Uh, it's going to be blast. It's going to be type effect. Uh, direction we're going to use it here and that looks pretty much and um, let's think for a second okay so let's go to game no <laughs> my game entities okay so we don't make an effect uh, Let's import the blast, shall we? So we can access to the function to build the blast. So, what was this? Ah, oh, it's when we process the actions. Add blast. So, we made the blast, but we don't pass this. We need to pass the direction that we're going to get from here. So we need to change the action. The action is missing the direction because we need to know in which way, in which way, in which way we're shooting, right? So, and it's the face, the way we're facing, right? So, and direction, direction. Uh, if I can type. Yeah, I can type. So, so the action now has a starting point and a direction. And when we call make blast, we pass those, those values, right? So, okay, let's call it. Uh, no, rename. It's going to be blast. Is it doing?
Okay, my bad. Okay, so that as the blast. I think that is fine. So we made the blast, X, Y direction, do, 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 do. This looks okay. So, okay, so these. So, this is less than frame limit, otherwise. I'm not sure this is correct. Uh, hello, racing the beam. How are you doing? So, okay. So this, so this is because I made a copy of the effect and the effects, they play all the frames and when they get to the last frame, it, it ends. But this has to cycle. So this is, it's going to be more like the slime, right? Yeah. Okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Cool. Yeah, otherwise. Uh yeah, percent delay. Then it's going to be frame zero, right? I mean, in reality, wait a minute, wait. Because we only have two frames of the blaster, right? So we can use these, and then we can just. Do keyframe like this. What is the short operator for for Haskell? I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. Uh, what is the short short operator for Haskell? Hmm. What? It's called sure, really. Okay, I guess makes sense. So I'm just assuming that I can do this now. <laughs> oh man, does anybody know how you do a shot in Haskell? Um, has kill operator. Oh, all has kill operators. Nice. Now. There is no... I'm confused right now. I would have thought... Hmm? Okay. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Not a problem, not a problem. We can look at to it differently. I cannot surprise, but here you go. So, test bit. What is test bit coming? From data bits. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I'm I'm making a mistake here. So has show XOR in Google is telling me there is a function in in data Beats. All right. Fine. So data beats. Actually, code actions. Let's do this. Yeah, of course. 
Thank you, Hugal. <laughs> All right, so now it should be oscillating between zero and one, zero and one, because we only have two frames. And it makes things simpler, I guess. Okay, so we can try this. Although it's not going to move and it's not going to check the end of the screen or anything like that. Oh, failed to build. What happened? Oh, because we're not using this anymore. Fine. So it should add the entity and it should be stationary in place, but it should be changing the frame. Cool. That's what I was expecting. Okay. So, mm, 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 mm. so now we can just, it's going to be similar to this, but instead of changing direction, we will destroy the sprite. So basically, okay, good night. Oh, thank you. We'll see. It may not be as nice when it's finished, <laughs> but it looks nice for now. <laughs> we'll see if there is any fun. Uh, okay, so direction is left. It's going to be... Something like this. So we're going to need to date frame and we're going to pass an entity and we're going to return an entity. So update frame A and then we're going to do this. Uh, why? Because we're going to use this in other places. So this is going to be okay. Okay. Do we actually need to do that? Do we need a function? No, we don't need a function. We can say updated frame. And then we use updated frame. Okay, so so it is left. Then we move to the left, and it's facing right. We move to the right. So that's very straightforward. Um, now we need to detect the collision, which is going to be, I guess, this. Um, so. What is is blocked coming from? Oh, because we need to pass collision here. No problem. So no, it's blocked. Sorry, 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 sorry. And obviously we need that when we create. Okay, so. Right shit, blah 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 blah. I think we do need that at the end always for here. Is blob and 
every color is black. Now, don't do that. We don't need that one. So now, uh, it's a play blast and let's be a little bit different. So we pass. It's blocked. I don't know. I don't know how to compose this. Uh, yes, it's blocked. Fine. And which means that all this has to return. It's going to be IO of empty. It's all right. So that one has to be pure. Okay, let's do first now that we need to do with the no because we need the is block right so okay so all this that is saying um and it has to be a real e right let's change that and da, 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 da. what else so it's looking left so it's not going to be 17 it's going to be half of it because this is eight the height is eight pixels so we can use the middle point so we can say four and four as well and do we need all this stuff? No, this is going to be super simple. If just, if it's blocked in the middle, we only need one point. If it's blocked in the middle, then, then please destroy it. Which is okay for now, although we, na we want that nice animation. I think so. We will need to create a new actor. Why is complaining about this? Let's look at the entity. The entity has. It is destroyed, indeed. Why is not liking it? Oh, because it's IO now, so it has to be pure. Alright. So. This is fine, this is fine. All fine, and the same for the right, right? So it's blocked. Uh, it's going to be plus eight, I guess. Yeah, sixteen exactly. And plus four, the straight through. Yeah, that's it. This should do it. No, what happened? Oh, 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 okay. So, in entities, when we create the blaster here, not it's the only the direction, we also need to pass uh, the is block function with the uh, with the map applied to it. So, just like this. Okay. No. Still wrong. Oh, do we have a map here somewhere? Ooh. In the state, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Game state has the map. Oh dear, it doesn't have the map. This is kind of a problem. Mm. Uh, 
Is it a problem though? Someone has to know about the map here. No. No, because... Well, it's not a problem. It's never going to be a problem. Because we can do this. I would think if this is crazy or not. Tomorrow. But for now, it's going to be like this. And we pass the function, that's okay. And now the shooter, uh, it definitely ha knows if something is blocked, right? <laughs> there you go, it's the same function. So it's linked to the same map, not a problem. Okay, I mean, it's working. <laughs> it is slowly working. Yes, I mean, it has to move more than one pixel at a time, right? Per frame. Pick. I mean, yeah, but it works. The glitch detection works. Um, and it doesn't stop when, when we hit an enemy, which is what we wanted. Cool, 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 cool. So the blast has to change. So maybe there is something funny here. Oh, it is the delay. So this delay is applying to everything. But I think this delay only needs to apply to the update frame. right yes i think so so i'm not sure it may be too fast now but i think it might be it's probably okay delays uh delay bigger than zero then Try this, and we don't need this. That should do it. Let's see, maybe it's too quick now. No, it's about right. Okay, there's something I did like there. So that side is okay. This side is not. So why right is not? Uh, because it's not 8 to 16. I mean, it still could be a little faster, I think. I mean, it depends how difficult I want it to be. I mean, it's definitely an idea. Uh, why am I jumping it? Uh, it doesn't do anything for now. Okay. Okay, so that means we also need collision. So, so we need a collision that is, uh, I don't know how I call it in the, in the shooter, but let's just say name. So, 
player collision. There you go. So, player collision. So, and we need to include that in here. So it's now it's going to be collision and it's blocked. And it's blocked and I don't know how I call it in the function. No, touch play. And and that's IO. <laughs> Trying to make things complicated. It's going to make things complicated. Okay. Uh, update. Update. Uh, no, uh, this one has to be here. It's going to be a little bit different than I expected. So, because it's IO, so we need to do something like this. Touch player. And here. Let's compare all this. Uh, mm -hmm. Couldn't match expected type entity with actual F0 entity. Mm. Oh, because it returns I already. Wow. Okay. Actually, I kind of prefer that. So, this one doesn't need to be IO anymore. Hmm. you anymore cool I like it better now um, here if it touched it's going to be wrong I think it's not going to be right it's going to be wrong anyway so it touched then do, 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 do what do we do? Well it touch then uh, entity uh it's story true and we hit the player so we add the action Otherwise, update. Uh, cool. Now, this is going to be wrong. Why? Because... Identities here... Well, okay, so we need to pass... We need to pass... Something. Do something with this. We need collision detection player. Aha! I mean, it's going to be okay by accident, I can. think. It could be way worse. Okay, so we need the player reference. And that, I believe, is in the state, right? No? What are you? So, state has... It doesn't have player reference. Hmm. Who's going to give me a player reference here? Hmm. That's not good. 
And we can do the same trick we did before. Because... Because this... 8 is not 16. It's 8. So I need a player reference. Who's going to give me a player reference? Oh dear, I need to do a refactor of this. It's not very good at the moment. The situation is kind of complicated and it shouldn't be like that. So... Mm -mm -mm. Not sure. So, state doesn't have a player reference because it's not a state, right? An entity doesn't have a player reference, of course not. And I thought this was a good idea, but maybe it's not such a good idea. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, for now, I can do this. Not a fan, but not it's not bad but I wonder if I could make this easier right mm. Can we make this look nicer, please? All right. Okay, so I'll blast now in this collision. Although I think I put them in the other order. Okay. Usually put the collision first, so... Let's do that. So that creates the action blast. Um, let's complain now. Uh, wait a minute. Shooter, collision, collision. Ah, because I put this in the wrong place. Ooh, no. No. Fire collision, fire collision. Oh, because I didn't know that. Yeah, and I think it's better at the end because it's just for the blast. Okay, so it's happy with that. In entities, is happy with that. Okay, so. So we pass this block and I was so happy with the way I was doing this. I'm not happy anymore. I'm compiling, but I don't know. I don't know. Did I finish this part? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. I need to review this code tomorrow. Tomorrow, whatever. Okay. So, um, I think we need 
another action. Um, no, we don't. Because we can use an action we have already. Jeez. Okay, let's try it with the walls. So... So, action, add, effect. And it's going to be PX. Um, PY and impact. So that one there and this one has to be in X plus 16. So let's try that with the walls. Hmm. That was so so. Yeah, it would be nice if it doesn't get inside the wall, right? So that one is good. But that one looks wrong. Why is that? It's block 16. Because it's 16, right? Yeah, it's 16. Oh, because it's 16 minus the size of the of the of the effect, so it has to be eight. And that way, that way, it will look nice. Ooh. Now the question is, do I need to add an effect when, when it hits the player or it's just doing it like that? I mean, I can add the effect, but it's kind of tricky because I know where I'm hitting the walls, uh, but the player could be hit in any place. Uh, Okay, I guess a way of fixing that is if I we put the, the impact uh, in the middle, right? So plus four, plus four. By putting it in the middle, I guess. It's going to look awful. Yeah, it looks better in the other way, right? Okay, so maybe not in this one, but in the impact of the player. Let's see. No, I, th I don't think it's going to work. But anyway. Let's try it. It's going to look awful because yeah, it depends where it impacts. So it's going to look like oh, it did touch the player, but the impact is going to ooh surprise. Well, and what happens if I do this? Oh, looks okay. Looks fine. Okay, there is something I don't like, but it's not 
it's not the code is this thing here it's not looking good so still a little bit of tweaking to finish the day so relaxing um relaxing pixel So I guess I can just play a little bit with the light now. And, uh, is that right? No, it's not. It's missing the end of the end. And I see it looks better. I mean, the speed is kind of okay. <laughs> Doesn't look great now. Okay. So I guess... Um, I guess... to do something like this maybe um well the only Downside of using GIMP for this uh, is that obviously I can't really check the animation. So I made myself a little tool, but it's kind of annoying to use, so again, I don't use it. There you go, All right? I think this is slightly better. Um, okay, so there is only one thing missing. There's only one thing missing. Only one. That is basically when we shoot the blaster. So it's in the shooter, by the way. Looking at the wrong code. So when we add the blaster, we need to change the frame to be to be this one. Uh, Which is in the shooter is always going to be one, independently of the set. So because it's the one that shoots, right? So frame is going to be one, independently of the set, and 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 and. And 
the delay has to be maybe a couple of double delay so we see the alien shooting let's try that what's going on why is complaining oh what's going on what's going on so now it should be the way it, I wanted it to be, which is, yeah, there you go. Do you see that? It shoots now. I mean, it's just a silly tiny thing, but it looks nicer. This, yeah, I think it's fine. Sometimes when it's shooting to the left, it looks like the nah, it's fine. Cool. I think this is pretty nice done. The enemy is just stop when you get hit, but no. But anyway, the player is is invulnerable anyway after being hit, so that's fine. Let's do a little bit more. Well, let's make this look to the left. I haven't tried that by the way. Yeah, it works excellent. So what happened? Did I lose two lives? Okay, I'm not testing it properly. So Oh, all right. So there is a problem here. It shouldn't do that. There's a bug. Independently of this code. Uh, 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 uh. What, what, what is going on? Oh, I know this. Uh, and I did that on purpose. I no, no, it should be okay. This, this is a bug. What's, what's going on? Oh, yes, it's a bug. Well, it's not a bug. It's because what I'm doing now with the blaster is not supported. <sighs> I mean, as it is the engine, it expects this to be like this. Because the enemy is done update, so... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> It looks weird, but also cute, right? I think it's better than that. And less complicated than this one. Okay, let's take a quick look to the code. And I think I fancy doing a comic. Even if I need to review this, right? So this one is fine. In entities, we have the blaster, the shooter. Very quickly, because I'm tired and I should go to bed soon. So let's have a quick review and see if we can like it or not. 
So this as shooter. And yeah, it has to pass because here we have to play a reference, but we don't have it later on. So to play a collision is blocked. That's how we add the blast. This is fine. This is always going to be like this. Now, this is the one that is kind of funny. I'm not completely sure I like. Now, the code of the blast, I think is fine. It's all new. And I think for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, new function in line. I just perhaps that's something we can look at a different time. Yeah, and the other things is that we had to add in no data. So nothing is affected by that. In types, we have the entity data, so we can have extra properties entity the new action yeah that looks okay um why did it change the map oh yeah because we need to be able to load the shooter right and then the shooter which is the other bit that is interesting here and it's not too messy but maybe i need to review this versus blaster yeah blast I mean, it's okay i mean it's okay if, if I, I don't know if i finish this game and i make another one i might do things differently possibly because I'm not completely sure i'm liking how this is looking at the moment but it's not bad anyway i mean it's just consistent and consistency is good just that you know you're consistent consistently doing something wrong then it's not great um yeah this looks fine as well uh this update here simplifies things uh they cool down yeah i mean i guess i could split more things here in more functions but I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. Ooh. Anyway, so that's a new enemy. Obviously, we need to add more. So that this was the, the second, the third easier, I think. Well, I had to add, there was also the extra work of having, having to add the, the blast and the impact, you know, a little bit extra. Oh, one thing is going to happen. So they're going to shoot me if I'm in line, right? Even if they can really hit me, I think it's fine. It's consistent as well with the behavior of the other enemies. So you get hit, you're invulnerable, and everything freezes. I mean, it's a it's a nice mechanic. I think it will work. It's going to work nice, nicely. Then the, the graphics are also consistent. Cool. This so this is going to be all for today session a little bit longer than usual but yeah i'm happy with the results bye now